Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll take you guys on a ride down Eglinton Avenue starting from Kennedy Station on the east and check out the process of the construction of this at grade section of the Eglinton Crosstown all the way to Laird. We've previously checked out the construction progress at both Kennedy Station and Mount Dennis Station, so this video will focus more on the actual tracks of the light rail route that are getting installed along Eglinton Avenue, as well as the stations on the line. Come along and take a look with us. We're here at Kennedy Station, the eastern terminus of the line, and where the line will transfer with the Bloor Danfoss line, the Scarborough RT, and the Stouffville Gold line. With Kennedy being a massive multimodal station already, even more work is being put in to integrate the Eglinton Crosstown properly with Line 2, with a brand new concourse and entrance being built here. The station and platform for the Crosstown will be underground, and you can see a giant trench being dug out in order to facilitate construction. The work is steadily progressing, and we can't wait to see the station building come up above ground level. Alright, time to hop on an Eglinton bus heading westward and take a look at the construction progress along the street itself. For most of the length of the busy avenue, the middle lanes of the street are closed off to be converted into an RRT corridor, and we can see that there are already sections of track being put in, and construction is steadily being pushed forward with quite a few workers on side. Our first stop would be Birchmount Avenue, where the Birchmount stop of the Crosstown would be located, just two stops from the eastern terminus of Kennedy. This stop would consist of a pair of side platforms located in the median of Eglinton at the intersection, and so far we can see that the area has been cleared out and the tracks have already been installed at the intersection, waiting to be connected once the platforms are built. Walking along Eglinton to our next destination, we can see more and more lengths of track, or ground cleared and prepped for the installation of tracks, and there's this shelter all over this bit of newly installed tracks to protect them from the elements while they're being readied. Golden Mile is the next stop on the LRT line, and it is located at the intersection of Eglinton Avenue and Warden Avenue. The setup for this station will be a pair of far side platforms with the two platforms staggered across the intersection, similar to how some streetcar stops are placed on Spadina Street. Progress here is steady as well, with the foundation of the station on its way to completion, and it's always interesting to see the workers working hard on this very important transit project. The next station, Hakimi Lebovic, is similar to Golden Mile with the Steyr style platforms as well, and here the crew are putting in some utilities for the station. And over at Pharmacy, the tracks are being aligned over the foundation so they can be cast in later and create the beautiful green tracks that we'll see on the RRT line when it's complete. <laughs> Victoria Park Avenue, the location of O'Connor Station, is where a lot of fun is happening, with multiple developments under construction at the same time here, which makes for a messy commute right now but much more convenient later. Even though the traffic has been slowed down a bit due to the closure of the middle lanes, there are still plenty of buses connecting the corridor and riders eager to get on. The speed of travel through this corridor will of course be much faster come 2021, when the RRT is set to be complete. After crossing the Don Valley Parkway, we arrive at Don Mills Avenue, in the location of the Stop Science Centre, which will be the future interchange station with the Ontario Line. Uniquely, this is the only station on the eastern portion of the line between Laird and Kennedy that will be located underground, due to the significance of the corridor and protecting a future connection to the subway, even though that seems unlikely now with the planned elevated Ontario line. Work has been progressing well at this station, with the above ground station entrances on either side of Eglinton already having their outer skeleton complete, and a massive excavation site here quite deep already for the underground station.
Moving along, we arrive at Sunnybrook Park stop at the intersection of Leslie and Eglinton, and we can see significant progress here on the tracks and station as well, although there are less tracks here than we saw before, as some of the tracks were underground coming from Science Center. However, we do see lots of development sprouting up from the ground all along Eglinton, which is a great change for a section of the street that is quite empty for now, and will drive lots of ridership for the crosstown. And just to the west of Leslie, we see the completed portal that takes the tracks underground until it reaches Laird Station, the first station in the underground central section of the line. The majestic portal can be seen from far away, signifying wonderful progress on this section of the Eglinton crosstown. With this, our adventure across the eastern section of Crosstown construction is finished. We're super stoked for all the changes to Eglinton, we will be sure to come back in the next couple of years for more updates and visit the other section of the line as well. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to share your thoughts on Crosstown, which part of it you're most excited for, and where we should visit next for our future construction videos. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and support us on Patreon for behind the scenes and exclusive access to our content and discussions. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.